morning, so the day starts again. I'm gonna hit the beach again. Not the road, the beach. Uh, from what I heard, there should be a lighthouse coming up and uh, maybe some tougher stuff, uh, Shell Beach, which for some reason when people talked about it said, careful, we'll see. Also gonna have rising tide this time. Had a good feed yesterday evening. Took some time to get that uh, fire going. Luckily I uh, did bring uh, that uh, dry bark, but didn't burn that easily. But I eventually did get that uh, driftwood uh, burning, which uh, was very sweet. And then the fire stayed on properly. Let's go. Lighthouse. That's the only movie that I want to watch that's out there. William Dafoe and Robert Pattinson. Should be one funky ass movie. Let's see if anyone's home. Not allowed. But let's let's see if anybody's home. You never know. Mine to the bone. Thanks. Follow up, yeah. Pedro. Bom dia! Do tempo de 8 degraus. 211 steps. Round and round. This is my morning exercise. Ooh. I don't have vertigo though. Do any of you? Olha o ventinho. I'll be right back. So this one was built, I think, in what I understand, 1945. But uh, lighthouse lighthouse has been here since the 1900s, early. Yeah, yeah, it's now, eh? It's old. Era pequena, não? Era pequena. Era. Ele caiu, não? Era. E é por isso que afundaram aqueles barcos todos. I saw it faintly last night when it was on 
the highest June of camping out. Sim, vamos, vamos lá. Se says it's still going to be difficult, there's Praia das Conchinhas, não é? It's uh, going to be looser and more uh, narrow. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll go and find out. Okay, precisando? Está bem. Sim, se houver uma coisa que corre mal, eu venho, venho para cá. <laughs> Tchau, obrigado. All right, let's go. We got about 100, 110 left. It's getting hot. Oh, this is smelly. This is smelly. Another wheel carcass. Very smelly. Uh, and I didn't want to get salty, I said. <laughs> Good girl, Al. Good girl. You can handle it like a boss, can't you? Yes, you can. here all right we're definitely here at the wildest part of this whole 200 or more kilometer long beach it's pretty much a desert here man all just beach and behind us just dunes as far as you can see one direction of nothingness and another direction of nothingness and that direction yeah and then further way back is like a lagoon You're not in a good place for things to go south but damn is it one hell of a place a real beauty the wild stuff is the best stuff one thing that you need when you go out in place like this plenty of water and a second fuel we got a big tank on help now this is this is just wild man What the ocean chucks out, hey? Oh, I'm just returning this here. Enjoy. Well. Bouncy bounce. Here we go. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. 
Yeah, the wheel was spinning a lot even while getting traction. I don't know if that matters a lot, but just thinking of the clutch. Hope I didn't get myself in trouble stopping here. I was wondering if I was going to make it or not without letting any tire pressure out. They were rock hard. Uh oh, bad news. Very bad news. I knew it, eh? I'm not stupid, but I am. One o'clock, high heat of the day. That's a full tip over, no? Wow, not a lot of power right now. You know, I haven't eaten, I haven't had breakfast. This cracker. See, the GV was easy to take off. There we go. Okay, that's done. That got me a bit hot. Let's go. It is very hot. So also when you're down to tire pressure, you can't go as fast anymore like I was going before. But hey, situation has changed, as you can see. All right, this reminds me of Mongolia. Okay, we made it. We're out of the desert desert. We're at the pine trees. And we can shade there if we get in trouble. Oh shit. Proper soft up here. Not gonna lie, I actually had to lay her down. Dang. You had to keep going fast here, man. <laughs> Went for a spin here, mate. Looks uh, like we got ourselves a bit of a cliffhanger here, peoples. By now it's not a bad time to do a little bit of this. Ah, oh, so good. And lay on thick that proper Aussie sunscreen that I still have. Yeah, proper slide. Took even reversed itself. I think I ripped the uh, ripped the pan here. I knew they weren't going to stay nice if I came down here. I saw the line pretty late, and I wasn't sure if it was going to be a slope or a drop, and I figured a drop. And the slope was right there, but I had to do something. But ever since the Shell Beach, I was a bit paranoid to slow it down. So it's an energy. Hmm. This is nice. Oh. That's nice. Well, okay, back her up. Whew. Bit of shade. Well, these panniers were fun while they lasted. Everything ripped off. Let's tie it up. It's already ripped open. This is gone here. Strap it up. Help! You're a beast. Take it easy, just take it easy. I saved it there because almost had to start over again. That's the thing, man. Just getting used to that again too, off-roading, you know. 
Yield that throttle in. When you're losing the front, throttle up. Let's go. here this is it this is the end for now oi vocês cuidado são terríveis olha isso é uruguai aqui aqui não dá eu, eu gosto de filmar a gente em segredo, não se preocupe. Sim, não podem ver a moto porque gostam de ver. Sim. Ficam quietos, né? Sim. Não sabem o que é bom para eles. Well, since we reached civilization. Ah! I was rationing a little bit. I only have one other bottle of water. I came out with. Seven and a half liters of water. Two is left. This little place is called Hermen Gildo. We're about 10, 15 kilometers away from. <laughs> What's that? 15 kilometers away from uh, Shui, which is the border with uh, Uruguay. And that's where we're going now. Like I said. Motorcycle boots with heels. There's a reason why I thought they wouldn't last. This is it. No more Brazil. Over. No mas. Cabo. Brazil ends here. <laughs> There's Uruguay. And that's where we'll be going tomorrow. In my book, that's when we really kick off. Patagonia ride all the way down south. All right, folks, that was the over 200 kilometer beach ride all the way to Uruguay. It was a blast to ride, definitely was. And uh, I reckon uh, once we get to the Cordillera in Argentina, uh, Chile, we'll get some more of that. Can't tell me I didn't do off road in Brazil. I know it has been sparse, but uh, damn, did we make up for it. Take it easy and if you aren't subscribed yet and a lot of viewers actually aren't so uh, if you enjoy that you know hit subscribe and don't forget the little bell button otherwise youtube like pedro moda no he doesn't make videos don't worry about it and uh i'll see y'all soon enough ciao hey peoples if you like the videos please consider supporting the channel since it takes considerable time to make these with your help, I can sit down and consistently make new episodes. Check out the link in the description. Thanks.